Hello, this is Eric Hernandez, and I'm here once again on behalf of the Rabblecast, sitting here with New Jack, having fun over at the uh, Legends of the Ring convention. You enjoying yourself? I've had a great time, man. I've had a great time. Now, were you here just for today's event, or were you here for last night's U shoot as well? Um, I did U shoot last night with um, Vince Russo, and then today we did the thing today, and we're going to do a appearance at some show tonight, and tomorrow. I'll probably wake up hungover. I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just, but yeah, I'm doing some stuff tonight too. I remember a few times that we've come to Legends of the Ring, they also had the wrestling ring roasts where people would come out and they would roast the different uh, people in the past. And you would come out and have memorable moments, to say the least. Yeah, the last one was the, 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 the uh, um, I was supposed to roast Terry Funk and I was. Uh, just put on some different kind of medication and I decided to drink on the meds and they didn't they collided and and I didn't remember too much of nothing other than I had on a pink suit and I was drinking out of a a, a, a plastic cup uh, that looked like something that food go in and I was jumping up and down and running up to the microphone about every five minutes and interrupting everybody and Everybody hated me that night. I remember the suit and I remember the shoes because you made a statement. Yes, I had on some <laughs> pink two-tone alligator shoes. Yes, I did. And and nobody could understand it but me. It was, it was what what you call it, mammogram. It was titty month. <laughs> <laughs> it was titty month, so I was representing the titties. <laughs> Now, if anybody, if anybody's a fan of wrestling, everybody knows who New Jack is. If you don't know who New Jack is, really, you're doing yourself a disservice. Are you working any upcoming shows, any upcoming events? I'm doing a thing that um, we're doing the uh, ECW. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say ECW. They told me don't say ECW, so I won't say ECW because every time I say ECW, I get in trouble saying ECW. So I won't say ECW again. Um, we're doing the Extreme Reunion, not the ECW, but the Extreme Reunion, and we're doing it again uh, at the end of June. And I'm really, I'm, I'm a part of it, but I want to be more behind the scenes to help the younger guys now because, you know, I'm passing the torch. I'm, I'm not trying to get in there. I'm not trying to dive off of nothing. I'm not getting color. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just trying to help develop talent with the younger guys. Okay. Is this the show with Shane Douglas, correct? Yeah. Now, it's, I believe they're calling it Extreme Rising. Is, is the new name, is that correct? I don't know what to call it. They, all I know is, they, they, is it? Well, they, okay. Well, I mean, that sounds gay. The, the Extreme Rising. The Extreme Rising Heavyweight Champion. That sounds like something from Japan uh, slash a cereal box. So, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, the, the, the Extreme Rising TV Champion. <laughs> Come on, man. Give us, just give us three letters and, and, just, and just leave it alone. Just, and, and I don't know. Okay. It, 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 they tried it once before. It lasted three or four shows, and it, you know, and with the way this was going, is might be headed down the same path if they don't change the format and start trying to give the younger guys a push in the business. Okay, let the older guys sit back and give knowledge instead of trying to get in the ring. You know what I mean? Because I don't agree with it. And like I said, if you try to make me dive off something, you got problems. Like you th <laughs> for me, me diving off something like trying to throw a cat in a pool. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hold on and claw you and scratch the shit out you. I'm not. Uh -uh, I ain't doing it. I really appreciate the fact that, that you're willing to help the younger talent. Let me ask you something because this is something that we ask usual people that we interview. If somebody was going to be breaking in fresh into the business today, what would you tell them? Uh, good luck. <laughs> I mean, honest. I mean, you know, I mean, it's the business where I mean, you know, it, it's it's a lot of people in this business, which I I was uh, an exception of one of them. A lot of people in this business like to kiss ass, and I've just never been one to to to, to do that. You know what I mean? If, if I got a spot, then I got a spot because I deserve the spot. I earned that spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't have my fucking my face in nobody's butt crack trying to, you know, kiss ass and drive him to the store and cut his grass. You know what I mean? I went out there and did my thing and put asses in seats. You know what I mean? So my thing is, I would say, learn how to wrestle first, create a character that's marketable, and then present your character. And then when you go to another promoter, always ask the promoter, what can you do for me? 
You know what I mean? It's almost like you interviewing him now. Yeah. It's like, you know, can you put me on TV? Can you get me any recognition? Can you call somebody that's done been there and done it that can call somebody else that's done been there and done it that can get me on TV? And if, he, if, if, if Billy Bob that owns the car wash can't, it, you're a trainer and he can't call nobody to get you nowhere, then you're wasting your time and you're paying his bills. That's very true. I, I can't argue with that at all. You know what I mean? I was in the business six months before I was on TV. I gave myself two years. I said, if I'm not on TV in two years, I'll quit. It took me six months and I was on TV. It was four o'clock in the morning, but I was on TV. <laughs> and then Jim Cornette was in Atlanta one weekend. And he saw me on TV and he liked what he saw. And we changed around a couple of things and then out came the gangsters. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else I can ask you right now. Just anything. Ask me about kids. Or anything. I mean, there's how many kids they said I got now? I think twelve. Did you know? Of? I, I don't know of them. <laughs> I, I couldn't name them. I could say I've been to that town. Is the baby mine? If you met me and I was in the ring and you was in the audience chatting New Jack and you bought a ticket to that show, I ain't claiming it. So is it the kind of thing where you go to a show, you the rest of your night and somebody cheers for you, you go to whatever late, later that night, you make sure to stay away for like nine months or longer? Uh-uh. i go back. Doesn't matter? No. You just go back and yeah, pay visits? I keep going back. <laughs> and I mean, it's just like, hey, bro, I mean, you know, I mean, I just tell people, I mean, you know, you go and you do these shows, and a lot of times people, they'll say, well, you remember the time I came to the show, um, um, and, 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 and we met at the bar, and now I'm pregnant. And I'll be like, okay, now I want you to be the one explaining this kid how we met. Okay, this is how we met. I, I was at the show and I saw him in the ring doing a the match then after the match I went to the bar and I hung out with him and I got drunk and I ended up going to his ring and going to his room getting screwed and out comes you <laughs> that's your father and then they say well mom can you tell me anything about him uh no I don't even claim kids like that. I mean, I mean, honest to God, I won't. I mean, I, I I got two kids that I know of that I claim. The other fifteen, I'm just like, fuck it, buy a ticket. I don't, I don't claim them. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. I'm like, it's like a Georgia sport. I mean, you know, I did it just to do it. That could all be a Hallmark card if you could just get it down to one page. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But you, Jack, I want to thank you very much for taking the time talking to us. My pleasure, I man. Much appreciate it. My pleasure. I'll see you soon, man. All right, brother. <laughs>